Binance Grid Trading Bot. On today's video, I will show you how you can set up a grid trading bot on Binance, which is totally free, by the way. And I will show you how you can make money from the volatility of the market, even if you have zero experience in trading. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So you probably know what is Binance, which is the biggest trading platform in the world in crypto. But one thing you probably don't know is they have built in, in on their platform a, a grid trading bot that we can use totally free. So on today's video, I will show you first why would you like to use a grid bot and then I'll show you where to find it on the platform. I will also tell you and show you how you can properly do your setup and make it profitable by using the volatility of the market, even if you have a zero experience in trading. So let's get over on my computer and I will show you exactly how it's done. If you don't already have an account with Binance, I'll put the link in the description. And by the way, by using this link, you'll be saving 10% on all your transaction fee. So once you log on to your account, all you have to do is click right here where it says a derivative and you from there you go to USDM future. And right here at the top, you'll have a menu that will say grid trading. So you just have to click on this and you will have access to the setting for the set up your grid. So let me, before we go there, let me explain you what is it exactly a grid trading bot. So let's go on the chart. So basically a grid bot, well, the name say it, it's a grid. All right, so this is the Bitcoin chart. So what is exactly a grid bot? So let's say I take this section right here, I'll put it on the five minutes so we have more detail. So let's say we look right here at this section. So a grid bot, like the name say, it's a grid. So it's just line like this that goes across the screen. Oh, this one was a bit like this. So every time the price go below one of the line, it would buy a certain amount of coin. So let's say in this example, the price would go down. It would buy here and then buy here again and maybe buy here again and then on the way up it would start to sell so would sell here sell here and then oh buy again here sell here then press go up buy and then go down go up it sell again sell here and it keep going on like that so you make a small profit every time that you go to buy and sell through the grid. So the more volatile the market is, the more profit you will make. But you don't need to have any trading skill. All you have to do is you set your lower amount, you set a higher amount, you set up how many grid you want, you put the amount that you want to invest through the grid, and after you just let the bot go, it will buy and sell automatically as it go through the different grid. All right, so back on the setup page. So first thing we need to decide is which coin we would like to set up the grid with. So usually what I do, I come back here on the chart and I look for a coin that has uh, some uh, good volatility going up and down. So usually I'll go on the one hour chart and let's say for this example, I'll select Atom just as an example. So as I can see, if I go on the one hour, as we can see on the longer period, it seems that it's going on a downtrend. So let's go on the five minute chart. So I can see here I have a pretty good range. So I have good up and down. So it would probably be a good uh, example that I can use. So first thing, so once you select your uh, your coin, the second thing is you need to decide where you want to set up your grid. So you need to have a lower price and a higher price. So on this example, 
my lower price I'll go let's say some around, somewhere around here so let's say around $22 and the upper price let's go to $25 so let's go back to my setup so I will have to select at home lower 22 and 25 just to make sure uh, yeah 22 and 25 so I'll set up my grid between those two price and the other thing also which is very important is uh, we have to select our leverage and uh, what kind of uh, margin mode we would like to use because here what we're using it's a when we're here what we're using it's a contract uh, because we are in the future um, contract for a Binance so the way it work first of all we need to select cross or isolated if you're just a beginner or if you're just starting I would say just start with cross and use um, start with one bot so basically what's a future contract is you're trading a contract using your money so the money you have available as collateral so let's say you're trading a contract so the you don't own that money but if you go on the negative or if you're losing money Binance will use your available asset as collateral so if you have more than active trade well you can tell Binance if you want the collateral separate so isolated from each trade or if you want to use the whole amount as collateral so that would be the cross so in that case we'll just leave it cross because we're doing an example with one bot so it doesn't really matter at this point so we just use cross and the leverage would be right here so this is very important don't take something too high if you're just a beginner or if you're just starting because yes the advantage of this is let's say right now it's at 7x leverage it means that my profit will be seven times higher than it would normally be but if for some reason you go on the negative or you're, you're losing your trade well your loss will be multiplied by seven so I would really really recommend you maybe start with 1x or 2x so you can have the hang of it and put and understand how it work for my example I'll use a 10x so you better understand so I'll do 10x leverage so this is my lower upper price now the mode there's two modes so there's arithmetic and the geometric um, so the difference between the two arithmetic it's each grid has equal price difference and geometric uh, it's each grid has equal price ratio difference so in my case I'll go with geometric because I want my each grid to have the same ratio so the same percentage between each grid so let's say in this example between 22 and 25 dollar let's say I go to 15 grid so that would represent 0.82 percent between each line and initial investment so right now I have 70 dollar available here so let's say I would like to invest uh, 20 dollar from that so let's say I put 20 dollar but because I'm using 10x leverage on that contract my total investment will be $200 in reality so I'm using $20 to invest $200 so basically the $70 become collateral if I'm start to getting a negative result and this part here well this is optional you can set up a trigger price to start your grid or you can set up a stop trigger so you can have a bottom price or a top price so at this point at this point all we have to do is click the create a button so there's the confirmation right here we click confirm and there we go the grid has been created successfully so let's go back to my chart and now you can see all the grid so all the purchase and sell order has been set up one thing though I forgot to mention is right here we can select neutral long or short so if the market is like ranging and we just want like to be like something neutral you can select this one so it will be 
just for like regular uh, ranging market if you think the market will go up well you could use this uh, section this uh, option right here so it will open a long position with the grid so it, it's ideal for trending and volatile bull market so when the market is going on the uptrend or you can use the short so when the market is on a bear market so in a downtrend market well you can use this option so for my example i'll just use neutral so let's go back here so as we can see we have the sell order here and we have the buy order here so let's zoom in so you can better understand right here so i assume the price will touch one of those two lines it will create a order so in that case will be a buy order or here would be a sell order so every time the price will go down it will buy and when it will start to go back up it will sell so what I'll do I'll pause the video for maybe a few minutes I'll just wait to see um, if the price will touch any of those two I'll wait maybe five ten minutes and I'll come back all right so I'm back there you go so the uh, price went down twice and now as you can see um, it did a another sell order right here so it purchased so as you can see right now uh, right here at the bottom so it purchased for three dollar and thirty five dollar at three dollar and thirty five cents and if it keep going down it will keep buying and as soon as it start to go up it, it will start selling if we zoom out a little bit so this is what it would look like so I will probably let it go and I'll see um, I did this one just for testing but actually I think this one would be a pretty good setup so usually I let them go for maybe a couple hours depending how it perform um, and as long as not going well if it goes outside the grid it won't do anything it, it's it's just waiting for for the price to come back inside as long it goes uh, up and down up and down and up and down like that it's perfect because you're making profit every time it sell and buy um, so there you go it could be a very easy way uh, if you have no skill at all at trading and you just want to make it maybe a little bit extra money well you can do it that way but like i said be careful with the uh, cross right here if the uh, the leverage actually because it, it could be very tempting to put a very high leverage uh, but if you start to go down just to give you an example let's say I do a uh, 40 leverage right here and my $20 now it's worth $800 so if the price go down like just 1% well it would be $8 so $8 out of your $20 um, it's a lot of money so you have to be careful with this so if you're just starting out use a very low leverage like maybe one two or three and from there you can learn and you can better understand how the system is working you can close it anytime so you can close it from here so if you want to close your open trade right here you could go at the market or the limit so you can select a price right here click limit or you can just click market it will close right away if you do that the bot will get cancelled automatically or you can come here and go to your active grid and you will see your uh, active grid right here and you can cancel it right here so just click on terminate and everything will stop it's very simple to use in the near future I'll do a video on how you can trade using leverage like manual uh, trading using leverage but for now I'll stop here uh, with the trading bot only if you have any questions just leave them below if you're not subscribed to my channel well make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my future video and if you did like this video or if you did learn something about it i would really appreciate if you would hit the like button so i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope i'll see you very soon on the next one thank you bye bye